and gentlemen of the press. Uh, this morning we opened the 48th session of the Commission for Social Development, where discussions are geared towards a host of issues critical to advancing the social development agenda, established 15 years ago at the World Summit for Social Development in Copenhagen. From now until 12 February, the Commission will deliberate the priority theme of social integration and its linkages to poverty eradication and pro productive employment, as well as consider matters relating to persons with disabilities, youth, older persons, and their family. The Commission will also examine policy responses on employment and the social consequences of the financial and economic crisis, including its gender dimensions. As this is the policy session in the two-year cycle of the Commission's work, we expect that our deliberations will arrive at an action-oriented action resolution addressing policy measures for promoting social integration. To help us reach that conclusion, the Commission will hold two high-level panel discussions. The first panel, that is this afternoon, will be devoted to commemorating the 15th anniversary of the World Summit for Social Development and will focus on framing the way forward for the social development agenda, given the mixed responses that has been made in achieving the summit goals. The second panel on the priority theme, uh, that is for tomorrow morning, will address the challenges and lessons learned from promoting social integration and its relationship with poverty eradication and full employment and decent work for all. The Commission's agenda is broad and challenging made even more so by the fact that social integration as a concept is not fully understood or appreciated. At Copenhagen, world leaders envisioned a society for all based on such principles as non-discrimination, respect for diversity, equality of opportunity, and participation of all people. Social integration, together with poverty eradication and the promotion of full and productive employment was further endorsed as one of the core pillars for advancing social development and social policy making. Although there have been some advances over the past 15 years, among them the adoption of international instruments to promote the inclusion and integration of women, youth, older persons, indigenous peoples, and persons with disabilities, we remain far from realizing the Copenhagen vision. There are still millions of people unable to meet their basic needs and who remain disempowered and voiceless. Part of the problem is that social integration policies have been developed on a piecemeal basis with limited participation by the affected groups in the design and monitoring of policies relating to their well-being. The, the work that the Commission will undertake this session represents a unique opportunity to spotlight the importance of social integration as well as socially inclusive policy processes in achieving overarching development goals. Even more significantly, the policy outcomes from the Commission will help to guide governments as they develop national strategies to combat discrimination, intolerance, injustice in an effort to build more socially inclusive societies. Although each national circumstance is different, the Commission will strive to focus on the commonalities that unite us in the pursuit of a more stable, safe, and just world. Representatives from 26 nations, together with members of civil society, are gathered here in New York to make a difference in the lives of people, especially the most disadvantaged and the vulnerable groups and persons. The stakes are high, but the need is even greater. Amidst a climate of financial and economic insecurity, environmental perils, and persistent social exclusion, the Commission will endeavor to adopt a resolution to help chart the future direction of social development policies within the framework of greater participation and accountability. Thank you.